الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله from the pearls of the salaf and one of those tests about our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our love for our brothers and sisters in Islam is a beautiful narration قال إمام سفيان الثوري رحمه الله تعالى قال إذا أحببت الرجل إذا أحببت الرجل في الله ثم أحدث حدثا في الإسلام فلم تبغضه عليه فلم تحبه في الله This is a beautiful narration of Imam Sufyan al-Thawri, rahimahullah ta'ala. He says that if you love a man for the sake of Allah, and then he commits a bid'ah, he commits an innovation <clears throat> in the religion of Islam, and you do not detest him or hate uh, him in accordance with what he did, uh, nor then, then that shows you do not truly love him for the sake of Allah. That's, that's a powerful narration, to be clear. So Imam Sufyan Athori, rahimahullah ta'ala, is saying that if you truly love, this is the paraphrase, if you truly love a person for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then, you will, then this love is in accordance with their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning if your beloved commits bid'ah, falls in the shirk, falls in the kufr or ma'asi, you dis detest that bid'ah or that kufr or that sinfulness that they've fallen into. And that should take away from some of your love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that pure love. Because our love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it isn't based upon our companionship or our bloodline or our race and so forth, but it's really truly loving someone strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you see that they seem to be one of the obedient ones to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we love and dislike people in accordance with their obedience and disobedience to Allah. That is the true muhabba fillah or hub fillah. That's the true uh, hub fillah. It isn't about hizbiya and, and blind following and, you know, my imam can never do wrong, my sheikh can never do wrong, or my friend can never do wrong, or so-and-so can never do wrong. No, but it's loving a person in accordance with their tamasik bi sunnah, in accordance with their adherence to the sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not their adherence to takfir and kufr and, 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 and ma'asi and bid'ah and the bid'ah of takfir and the bid'ah of other things like people who blindly follow Faisal Jamaiki, they love him. They love him regardless of all the issues, his extreme mistakes. They love him anyway. They will curse, they will fight for bid'ah. So this shows this isn't hub fillah. Hub fillah, you love them in accordance with their adherence to the Sunnah and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Anything I said that was incorrect from myself and the Shaitan. Wassalamu Alaikum Wa Sallam Muhammad.